Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Exhumed. Last time we reached, well, we, last time we dropped down in I stupid Iranian. Last time we dropped down in Egypt here in Karnak Valley, and we reached Karnak. Our objective is to recover the six mighty artifacts and recover the body of uh, Ramses from the aliens that invaded this land. We haven't seen any of those aliens so far, but we will. We will later on, don't worry. In any case, this is Karna. Really straightforward area. But he does, he does a lot more than you expect. So, as you can see, there are some pots up there that you cannot reach. You will be able to reach those later, as you will get power ups in this game. You will get power ups. Doom does, these things will do, don't exist. I mean, you get power-ups to increase your abilities. You will have, an, I don't know, for example, over here, you may guess you have the ability to jump higher. You'll see. You'll get a lot of lots of power-ups, I mean, six. There are six power-ups in total to find. Which are the artifacts that uh, our friend Ramses told us to find. Which will give you additional abilities. Which are needed to find some secrets. And some exits, too. So we open the door and there's a second enemy we find in this game. I don't know how to call this guy. He's not a shooting. He's like the Imp of Doom. He shoots little balls of fire. And he can slash at you if he gets too close. The balls don't do a lot of damage. They're pretty weak. But the slash, by the way, are really dangerous. So don't let him too close, you know? Otherwise, it's gonna be bad. For your health. Destroy that, destroy that, destroy that. Always try to destroy a whole pot. Because it's not like you only find weapon power and an elf round, there's only an, another item you can find. And it's pretty in, it's pretty useful if, if you're the first time you're in this level. You know, in any level. I do know my way around, but I want this. I want to show you this item I'm talking about. The problem is that this item is every time you play, it's in a random point. So you don't know where it is. Okay, there was an enemy inside. By the way, sometimes when you break pots, you'll find enemies who scan something. Okay. Kill those guys. Pretty easy. Get some more weapon power here. Open this thing. And there will also be some traps in this game. This is a simple one. You press the switch, there are some rooms with enemies. There will be more complicated ones. Okay, there we go. And by the way, all these drops, elf and weapon power, they don't go away. So you, they can stay here forever. They never go away. And this is a special power up, as you can see. This is a weapon power, but it's different. This is a full weapon power. And what it does is ma it maxes out your current weapon ammo and also charges up some of the other weapons you may have in your possession. In this case, it's pretty useless because I'm almost full, full. I'm gonna leave it there. And this is a key. Those are the keys. So the symbols that you can see in our inventory down there that are black. As soon as you collect one symbol of war. That will become yellow, so we can open the war door somewhere in this level. Okay, anything else I should mention? Well, you could go that way, you could go that way too, but there's nothing of our interest that way, those ways, because they will be both locked eventually, and we won't be able to proceed. What we want to do is go this way. Open the door, shut down these guys, Pretty easy, don't take to it. And this is the war door. We're able to open it because we have a key, but for example, if we, we this is a time door, you need the symbol of time, of course. Here we have the symbol of war, so we can open it. Pretty easy, once you have the key, you open all doors with the same symbol. Which are usually one. There are some more enemies that pop up from this way. So, you can either defeat them or run straight for the camel, which I'm gonna do. Yeah, I don't say I don't need to. So yeah, as you can see here, we, we unlock the uh, direction. If we go left, we go back to Tomo Ramses, so we can revisit previous levels. Or we can go to Karnak Sanctuary, which is what I want to do. Let's go to Karnak Sanctuary. Uh, 
And by the way, one thing I didn't said is what they had down there. They had uh, I didn't describe the yard, but of course it's pretty it's pretty easy to describe. I mean, the blue is the ammo, the red is the L, and uh, well, the thing in the center is like a compass. So as you can see, as I'm turning, it turns too. So when I'm facing up, when the upper light is lighted, I'm facing north. Now I'm facing south. Now I'm facing west. Now I'm facing east. Easy as that. Okay, over here, be careful as there seems to be nothing. But over there, and over there, there are some birds. There are ox. They die in one hit, but they're really hard to see. Okay, breaking pots like always. See if something useful pops up. And of course not. I want, this. I want something, but I can't find it. Okay. Now this thing. New weapon. This weapon, well, you basically will use this weapon throughout the whole game as your main weapon. The M60 is a machine gun. And it's OP, I mean, everything gets destroyed by this thing eventually. And it fires so fast and it's so efficient, you will just stick with this weapon forever. I'm not, I'm not telling lies, but this thing is amazing. Okay, over there, there, there's, a, there's a new item we haven't seen yet, that uncle over there. But we can't even access it, because one, we can't even go up there, and two, there's an electric force field we can't, we can't even pass through. So, remember that for a lot later, we'll get it, eventually. More of these guys, you can see, they die in an instant. This thing can mow down an entire army of these guys, look at that. Easy. We'll collect all of those and symbol of time. Turn him back. That way, that's the power door. We cannot open it yet. Let's go this way. Now those guys that shoot fireballs are not are not a threat for us. Look at that. They die really easily. This thing is amazing. Okay, over here there is another of these guys that shoot balls. Fire at you. Kill it. Be careful of this thing. This is acid. It doesn't instantly kill you, but almost. I think it deals like if you touch it, you lose five sixths of your health. Oh, oops, where? Hi, guys, die. Okay, let's move on. Up here we have a bridge and the earth door. You need a symbol of earth. Because the symbols, if you didn't know, sorry, from left to right are power, time, um, war, and earth. Okay, let's try those. And that's the item I wanted to find before that I didn't find. This is a map. So look at our map now. This is our map. As you can see, the, this place is pretty complicated if you look on the map. As soon as you get the map, you will get a full idea of how big is this place. Look at that. Look at that! And you haven't seen anything! I mean, you have seen nothing. This isn't even complicated. There are some levels that are really complicated. Okay, jump over here, we get a symbol of war. If you're quick enough, you can jump over here, and this is a full life power. So once you get it, of course I'm a full life, I cannot get it, your health will be restored to maximum. As you can see, you can only get it once, because this platform will collapse after you jump on it, and there is no way you can get it back up. Anyway, we got the symbol, right? Let's go back. Hang on. Try that. Thank you. Okay. So, of course, as you would expect, if you collect the symbol, there might be some traps that activate it back where you're already been. Okay, you're dead. Destroy those pots. Get the R symbol. Whenever you pick up a key, just be careful. Because exactly like in Doom, picking up keys may trigger stuff. For example, over there, those enemies weren't here before. They'll trap for us. Easy to avoid, I mean, they're pretty far from us. And I had a lot of time to see them. But it's just the game trying to teach us that. Some things may change during our adventure. For example, over here, there's another guy. 
tower and since we have the arm symbol we can open that door. Now over here those fireballs will open for you the path. Over there there's a full weapon power up should you need it and I'll take it. Okay, destroy that. Get more. There should be a full elf power up nearby. I don't know. Okay, by the way, these fireballs are a serious threat. One direct hit of these things deletes you, well, deletes you, deals you a damage that is equal to three fourths of your life bar. So two hits from these guys and you're dead, even at full L. You can resist one hit, but not two. Be careful. So you go over here when they shoot, so you have all the time. That guy. You get that guy too. There was another one that shot me from up there. Where are you? Hi. Whoop. Didn't dodge that one. Ouch. Another one. Hi. You are dead. Give me some health. Thank you. Uh, this door is sealed. We can't go that way quite yet. This one's sealed too, so our only way, our only way to move forward is going down. Should be at the Ranian right here. Okay, two of them. Fine. Okay, let's go over here. There should be nothing else. More! More of them! Okay. Hi. You're dead. Over here, though, there's a switch. If you go this way, you will end up where we found the time symbol. Should you want to go back, there's a shortcut. But we don't want to, we don't want to go back. We want to go this way. Now that the way was unlocked, he allowed these guys. I wanna call them Anubis Anubis Gardens. Anubis guys. Because their head is is the same that Anubis had. Look at that. It's uh how is that even called? I don't even know. Those those animals. I don't even know but Anubis had the same head. I mean Anubis the Egyptian god. Anyway, over here, be careful. Step forward, but be careful of ox that come here. They shoot them as they come nearby. There are some of them. Okay. And that's what? Where are you? Show yourself. There you go. And that's I was trying to say. That's our first artifact. Sandals of Ecomfet increases jumping ability. Now when you press X, you will jump a lot higher than before. Which is helpful because we can now reach this ledge. We couldn't reach that ledge before. So I'm gonna step out into this thing that will bring us back to... Okay, once we learned about that, and we record our first artifact, we can now go pro to right to the second one. So let's go to the camel, let's press fire, I'm now saving of course. And, let's go to the map, please. Next up is still Karnak, because we will have to find another exit. But that will happen next time, so I'll see you guys next time.